Hi everyone, this is Tasha from Start a School Crochet. Today's tutorial is going to be about a reverse single crochet. So this is a swatch I used in another tutorial about doing um, clusters for half double crochet three together. So I've created a row of single crochet here. And a reverse single crochet is where you're not going to turn your work. So normally right here you would chain one and turn it and then start working back this way. For reverse single crochet you don't do that. You do chain one and this it creates a border. Um, so I chained one and I'm going to pull up a little bit on my yarn and see the stitch right here, the very last stitch of the row. You just kind of work your hook back through that. Then you yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and finish your single crochet. So you're doing a single crochet, you're just working from left to right. And so let's go back into the next one. Yarn over and pull up. You can tug on it. You can make these as loose or as tight as you want. But loose, I would say, is probably the easier option. And it creates kind of a cool little twisted look to a border. And I use this border in my winter blush scarf and I really liked it because it helps you work around the scarf and create kind of like an interesting border so you just keep working all the way back down inserting your hook into the stitch except for the only difference between a forward single crochet and a reverse is this one is the direction you work everything else is the same and as you can see it creates this cool border that has kind of like a twisty top if to you it. have any questions about this tutorial please leave a comment down below this yarn is heartland by lion brand and the link for this yarn is down below as well and thank you guys so much for watching take care happy crocheting